we spent a few days in Page, Arizona, explored Antelope Canyon, and now we're headed for Monument Valley. My wife, doing what she does quite often, reads her Kindle, misses a lot of the scenery. Yeah. Here we are, Monument Valley, and I mean, it's a dirt road and it's rough. Tried to film this with an Osmo Plus. Basically, I had the tops off the Jeep and I was holding it up above, trying to uh, not have the Jeep in the picture, but I wasn't always successful. The road was littered with <laughs> plastic pieces from rental cars. It was a rough road. And I mean, if I had a rental car, I sure wouldn't let people drive in there. It was just absolutely gorgeous. We got there in the late afternoon. The light on the monuments and the rocks was just fantastic. More little rental cars trying to crawl through there. There's, they were pretty steady. People were determined they were gonna see it. I don't blame them. You can see part of the Jeep there as I'm bouncing along. Here comes one of Golding's tour rigs. A truck <laughs> with bench seats in the back. I mean, it had to be rough riding. You see the folks, some of them had masks on from the dust. I think it was a little better to do it with a Jeep, even if it was bumpy. You have the top, freedom tops open. Another one of their rigs coming out. Here's a little bit easier way to travel. This is all Navajo tribal land. It's uh, just out of this world. I mean, it, it's a whole different realm. And it was well worth it to be bumping along, enjoying the scenery. And I do mean bumping along. Should have let the air out more out of the tires so that it was a little smoother. Maybe next time. My wife said to me tonight, she said, do you think we could do Antelope Canyon in that again? And I says, yeah. Let's go in January. Well, I think we got kind of a full schedule, but next chance we get, we're going to go down there again. Maybe use a little better equipment for filming next time. You can get a picture of me with, you saw the shadow there with the hospital I was holding up. I was driving that whole thing one hand, and shame on me. Forks in the road, let's see which way should we go. Oh, here we are rolling into the RV park that night. Goldings again. They seem to have a monopoly on the community in the area. And down there on the left is our motorhome. An old purple bus. It gets us there faithfully. It's a 36 foot diesel pusher with a Cummins 275 horse. Drag the Jeep behind on the tow bar. Next morning I got up with the bright idea that I was going to go in there and get some sunrise pictures. Turns out, unless you have a permit, you can't go in till 10 o'clock in the morning. So I may do some of the, I think they call them Hogan's, mud huts. A lot of tourist rental campers around. 